Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Finn for the win here, and today I'll be showing you a Duo Decillion setup. So, this will be one of my longest videos on my channel, I think. So, every five minutes I will have to stop, so yeah, it's a bit annoying. So, first of all, all you need is two morning stars, and that's pretty much it. Um, two morning stars, that's literally it. And you, or you could add a, a more upgraders to speed up. So, first of all, I would recommend, uh, I would say 10 nuclears, around 4 ramps, a reg some conveyor, just some normal conveyors, and that's it. So, first, we'll just get your conveyor, like this, and then put a teleporter into it. Put it right that, And then put a regular conveyor, so you can put the ramp on it. And then use five of these. Oh yeah, you just I just realised. What you have to do is if you this is a whole lot better. So if you get your um what's it called? I'm actually really bad with names. If you if you don't know, I'm really bad with names. So <laughs> you'll need your premium track, that's the name. And then get some um it's like it's like a half conveyor I actually don't know what it's called. Let me just see. Um, it is called a raised mini conveyor. That is the one because it's like smaller. I you really all you need is like two or three. Also, oh oh yeah. Also, you'll need a symmetry mine or symmetrium or symmetry or whatever people say because it's a lot of names. It's it's a bit of a confusing name if I say it to myself. And then get your ore replicator. Place it down, like with the like see through bit going over the conveyor. And then get your symmetry mine. And then place, make it drop in, make sure it's dropping into the green. And then, because, there we go, and it should make infinite. So let's carry on with uh, the set. So I'll just put it into in front because then you can have a, so I'll, so then next you'll put nuclear and then you'll put your ramp, which then it boosts it up, it goes, and then goes into the conveyor, I mean, upgrader. So, and then get your, ramp because you see it's like setting on fire but with the sim wait, it would set on fire but because of the symmetry that when as soon as it gets goes on fire it like takes fire away so that's why it doesn't set on fire if, if you had don't have that you would have to replace it with a uh let's say like, you would have to put a wild sport uh, afterwards so then next put your ramp and then your conveyor also you can stop the video and look back if you want to um Go back because I'm going a bit quick because I'm trying to make this video kind of as snappy as I can because no one likes a, like watching a long video. Well, maybe sometimes. So make sure the ramp and then get your uh, morning star. Some people like Life 300 don't even have it, but it's like really common, which is a bit weird. Well, I think I don't even know how life you have to be to get it. So and then get your conveyor that way and then turn it around to go that way then get your ramp which got your ramp down then put some walls around it so the walls don't fall off what you bought around i would say eight nine of them i think i don't even know how many i bought but i put as many ores as you can you don't, you literally you don't even need like any ores or you need pretty much only one ore that's how like amazing this setup is but i just left it running just to make sure and then put one some there because sometimes they might go flying and they might fall off the conveyor which trust me it's happened before and it's annoying and then put some around here as well and then oh i missed oh short one there so i need one more place it there and then once you've done all that now you can start making a sub. Oh, actually, that's good idea. To speed it up, you would have to put a portable, which add five percent, which can be quite handy. Wait, should I place it there? Hmm. Not all the ores are hitting it, which is a bit annoying. So I'll try and move it somewhere else. Try and move it here. Oh, that's better. They look like some, most of them are hitting it now, so that's a lot better. And then you can start making a sub. So. These, I think it times it by three each time it gets hit by the morning star. So it would, and it goes up to like the, one of the, like, 
goes up higher than Joe Decillion, so you can pretty much get loaded. So once you've done the setup, um, now you just wait because then it will just eventually get upgraded to DD because it can go higher than DD. But this also the mon two morning stars, mo the mo morning, morning, that's a word. The two morning stars can be also used to get the true overall device, which I will hopefully, if I can, do another setup on. So I will sh now I think I might do the setup. So. All you have to do is place a teleporter down, get two conveyors, one facing that way and one facing this way. You don't have to use any upgraders, literally, you could just put a basic, uh, basic, uh, any mine. But I'm just going to use a quantum or cleaner, a catalyst, um, a catalyst, there it is. That's the, where it is. That's the where it is. That's the word, yeah. Because that's how good I am at English. So then place a overload device. Place it down. Wait, I just realized that can go in there. That is weird. That's a bug. That's quite actually handy as well though. So, and then you place your, where's it? Where's that thing? Pumpkin hero. I think it's times it by two. Oh yeah, I did a video. It times it by two. And then you could use any like furnace as you want. Pretty much, pretty much nearly every furnace you can use. So at the moment, the all's worth, I actually can't read it. I think it's QN. So, well, you don't even have to use any good upgrader. You can use a basic uh, mine because it's that bad. I mean, that bad? Not bad. Wait, I'm I'm confusing myself. It's it like the ores or can already be worth GD, DD. So you don't even have to have a good upgrader. You can have a basic mine, a ba basic furnace. A bit sturdy today. You can have a basic furnace. So the over here is where the mass man's location is. By the way. He is selling an all negator, premium tracker, lunar refiner, and I have no idea what he's selling there, but I'll find out later. So I'll come back to this setup now. How much are the ores worth at the moment? I can't see. So I'll just replace it with basic furnace now. So show you can actually get it with that. So um, now we just now now we have to wait more more waiting which is the uh, like bad part so now i might just go get some boxes while i wait what the heck two wall two has spawned as you can see i'm saving my boxes for the what's it called the christmas update because i want to see if there's any exotics and maybe vintages because i saw on Brezza's stream no spoilers but i think he might be added a new vintage which was when when was the last time he added a new vintage if you know comment it down when he last brought out a new vintage so this guy seems to be doing a overlord device or true overlord device setup as well so see it's that easy anyone can do it well unless you're you have to have a few rebirth items that's the problem which can be a pain so now we just have to wait oh there's an all which is worth oh and it's stuck it's a bit annoying false off oh he got pushed okay he's free he's free there's a gold box there let's just get that please give me up yay regular box hallelujah okay now we've got all these ores going around and around and around so many times are going around so many times i think these ores might have gone around like a hundred million trillion times so yeah which is a lot <laughs> if you place four morning stars then it can go up a lot quicker but i just thought just uh not everyone might not have four morning stars so i just used them with two so yeah now we just wait for these all, all visible works please give me an unreal oh you're let down you're a disgrace to the family how could you done this i can't believe you've done this <laughs> da, 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 da. oh okay now we wait n we've got some ends it's weird because if if it is n it's like non nillion but if it's non nillion i swear it would be n n it's very confusing i don't know brother you have to fix the game joking the game's amazing it's beautiful so um now we just wait even long oh d i saw my first de or there 
So now we almost. And now your orders are worth a bit of like N to D E. Then you'll just wait a minute. God, look at all that lag. A bit of lag on that one. And um, then what's up? Wait for these to go up. I would say U D. That's a good amount. I think you can get it. So yeah. Now we'll just wait for these all to go up because each time it goes round, oh, I've already told you this, but each time it goes round, it times by three. So it, it, it's a, it's good, but it's like quite fast as well. So now just wait. That's now this part where you have to wait, which is the like least. I don't know. It could be good or could be bad. Depends. Depends on what you want to do. Before I like doing stuff on this game instead of waiting. Like I, I love to like make long setups, but this is like you have to place literally hardly any items, so that's pretty handy. So now, um, I didn't even know that I didn't even have the ore negator, which just remind me then, I didn't even have the ore negator until I got it, like in the masked man. So the ore's worth UD. We'll see if we'll wait. We'll wait until we see it all might be due DD. Let's see if we see one. We see one I can show you. UD, UD, UD. Oh, there's one. 1 1.6 DD. That means it's already ready. So hover over it. Go up to your teleporter. You you have to. I would. I would that's why I put loads because you can easily lose an ore here. So then RT remove and then quickly place it. I just okay. Now all the ores are down. And then, and then look at the money, TDD. So that's how you get the uh, GDD in the game. So if you look in the chat on the left, I obtained an overall device. So this, I uh, hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to my boy, Leon for the win. This has been one of my longest videos ever, and I'll see you soon. Peace.